What's up guys? Welcome to New Jersey. I'm actually here. I shot my bow this morning. Bo is dialed. I came home last night in a super delayed, super long flight because there was such a wicked storm. They finally cleared us to land and then the storm hit I was at, as I was driving home from Newark, which is well over an hour drive. It was so bad, like some of the worst, uh, some of the worst weather rain wise that i've driven in since hurricane sandy back in like what was it 2011 or 12. but anyway i made it safe and sound home luckily shot my bow bow's good it is just starting to clear up outside it's getting sunny skies with some clouds but blue skies the wind is starting to go away the rain is gone it could be picture perfect deer rotten weather because it was really cold last night and i don't think because of the rain and how cold it was that they got to come out but It'll be interesting. Fingers crossed. I don't want to get my hopes up, but it could be good. And it's just the first day. I just bought my tag. So I'm going to get ready to go so in now. now that the tag's bought, I have two cameras to check, which will determine where I sit tonight. But based on the cameras that my mom has already checked, I think I know where I'm going to sit. But you never know. Things could change. Uh, just like when I shot my big velvet mule deer, my whole plan was to sit in the other stand because that's where he was showing up, my other blind. And then literally a week before the hunt, less than a week, he totally changed and set up at my other blind. So it's good to be mobile. It's good to have set like multiple options. But anyway, enough talking. Let's go check my camera. First things first, it's always good luck for me to listen to the song before I go deer hunting. first things first I've actually never used this I'm not I have never really used face paint but there's definitely certain times for archery hunting when it is valuable I always try and put my blonde hair back like under my jacket which I'll do later because this is a really unnatural color well it's natural for me but to the deer they're like whoa there's a blonde woman with a weapon <laughs> but anyway my face also being really really white doesn't blend in naturally and sometimes this type of stuff is hard to wear when it's warm or just hard to keep on in general so i'm gonna try hardy face paint for the first time um i've heard a lot of good things about hardy face paint and they're really active on social media so i'll go ahead and put their link below in the description box if you guys like it if i like it try it out so this is my first time trying it i'm gonna open it right now it's like really easy application. Looks legit, right? I'm gonna keep it simple for today, just with the black, but I can get into the greens and the other colors another time. Okay, let's go. I look so legit, like a football player mixed with a cat, mixed with a hunter woman. <laughs> okay, going in to check the first stand, which is the one I don't think I'll sit in today, but you never know. I'm curious though before I get to a situation where I can't talk anymore, which is sitting in my stand. Do you guys use face paint? What's your thoughts on it? I think it can be really valuable to uh, break up your face a little bit, your white face. But yeah, let me know. Go ahead and comment below if you do.
What's up guys, so I just got back to my car from my stand. Holy cow, what a cold night. You can probably see in the red of my face and my hands. Um, it says it's 48 degrees. It seriously feels like 28 degrees, I'm not even exaggerating. Uh, I think for a couple reasons. First of all, it's a really damp and rainy day and it was not raining when I pulled up to my farm around 1.30 in the afternoon. So I didn't bring any rain gear and I'm just wearing like one layer of pants and everything. And then I sat in my stand from 1 to right now, 6.15. So during that time frame I got rained on about three times and that was enough to get me pretty wet especially my pants and my boots um, and it was also very windy and cold so that on top of it raining so many times and being wet and it being cold like I just was freezing like the last 30 minutes where the Sun went away I was definitely shivering and I was staying really still but my legs were definitely shivering and no deer actually came in. I did hear some does behind me, but they were held up in the trees and they never really came in. It could have been because of the wind, like they could have caught my wind, but I just did all the scent free stuff, showered in it, cleaned all my clothes in it. I really don't think I had a lot of scent for them to smell. I think they were just holding up in the trees because it was such a windy, crummy afternoon, evening. So that's okay, like that that totally happens and um, I didn't spook any of them getting out of there so that makes me feel good. Um, and I think it'll be fine. I'm just hopeful for tomorrow. Daylight savings is tomorrow morning I think so I need to do some research on, to when, on when to wake up and I have made um, <laughs> false assumptions because of daylight savings before so I definitely need to make sure I'm there at before prime time because since that big buck was here today, there is a huge chance that he could be there tomorrow. So I'm really, really hoping and praying for that. Gosh, it's like bow hunting, there's so much unknown, you know? I'm like, typically speaking, he should show up, he's probably around, but then again, like you really, really never know. He could come in, he could not come in. He could never come in in the next eight days, What the only eight days that I have to hunt. Or he could come in tomorrow. Like, it's just one of those things that you never, never know. So all I can do is hope and pray and give it my best shot and spend as much time as possible in the stand. And uh, yeah, that's really the goal. Today makes day one of my New Jersey archery deer hunt during the rut. And today is November 3rd, so that's my first day hunting. Based on the cameras, based on the bucks fighting, based on the pushing does, based on how many does and um, bucks are on my cameras, I could say that there, there could be something good happening. <laughs> it's definitely, the rut is definitely in full swing, so there's no doubt about that. That at least makes me feel good that it's not going to be like an early or late year. It's like what it's supposed to be, so... That's good. Okay, so I've heard this stuff comes off way easy. Let's try it. Let me get this a little wet. Oh my gosh. So easy. So yeah, <laughs> it just comes off like in patches. How cool. So easy.
Hey guys, just wanted to say thank you so much for watching my first episode of my New Jersey whitetail hunt where I travel back from Utah to my hometown that I was born and raised in Stillwater, New Jersey to hunt some whitetail deer on the farm I grew up on. We have a farm there and it was really nice growing up on a farm. Lots of hard work, but lots of fun. And now I'm very grateful to be able to go back and be able to hunt there on my own land, Fable Land. It's really, really cool. So thank you for watching. Let me give you a little background info on Chunk. So I think I described it in the video, but let me go into a little more detail because I was trying to be quiet while I was out there getting ready to hunt and stuff. Chunk was there the morning of November 3rd. This video was filmed on November 3rd, but I got in early that morning and I had to go get my tag when the place opened. So I did not, was not able to hunt that morning and looking back it's like man I wish I did everything I could have to get the opportunity to hunt that morning because Chunk came in at like 10 a.m. running does but um, that's just hunting probably if I bought my tag he probably wouldn't have even been there in the first place but he was there pushing does and there were other buck fights going on and it was just flooded with deer and it was raining and all that stuff. So I sat that night and it wasn't very good, but that was definitely because of the weather. So stay tuned for more episodes. There's lots of action, lots of deer in this series. I really think you're gonna enjoy it. Bears too, sneak peek, stay tuned for bears. All right guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.